at Manual High School today. I am actually a teacher at the J. Graham Brown School, and so our two schools came together for curbing food insecurity and hunger in the world and access to health care. For International Medical Corps, we went around asking for donations to help and collected $853 to give. We went to Baxter Community Center, and with there, we had less fortunate kids come into the center, and we fed them food, and then while they were eating, we provided them with entertainment and things to do. And then for our global project, we did um, chores, and we did them separately or together, and all the allowance we got from the chores, we donate to um, Actions Against Hunger. We sold hot chocolate and we sold popcorn at school for Dare to raise money for a whale in South Sudan, and we also worked with Dare to Care. This is a culmination of the entire year's work. So all the students are displaying the service work that they've done on their boards and reflections of their work. Um, why they did it, why they think that they've made change. So it's really to teach each other and for people in the local community to know what they're up to. I think this is important because it teaches you how to communicate with community partners and it gets you into the world of volunteering. Service learning is what the world is all about. Touching either other people's lives and making sure that we're all working towards the common goal. We were able to see how big of an impact that not having access to healthcare had. Uh, creating the project and volunteering was always great because firstly we got the benefit of volunteering at different locations and raising money. 14 and 15 year olds, that's largely what this group is, and they have literally fed people throughout the world because of the work they did this year. I think it'll help me be a better citizen because when you think about all the people in the world who have problems, like who go through things and just think about how fortunate you are, you want to give back, especially with food insecurities. It's a lot of people in the world who don't eat and who need things. They're amazing because these kids were completely in charge of their projects. Um, so they came up with what they were going to do. They built connections with local community members and international community members. It was not teacher driven, it was student driven. And they have reached out to all sorts of groups that I didn't even know necessarily existed. I'm not just standing there teaching, they're teaching me every day. And I'm so, so lucky to get to work with these kids.